Hey guys, Kev here, and this week on Beat at the Movies, we're looking at Tomb Raider, starring Alicia Vikander, Daniel Wu, Christian Scott Thomas, and Dominic West. So we're back with the Tomb Raider franchise after a 15-year hiatus. Laura Croft was famously played by Angelina Jolie in those films. This time around, we get Swedish actress Alicia Vikander in the title role. She's taking the reins in this stripped-back origin story. So it's based loosely on the 2013 video game which itself was a reboot to the original franchise and it has to be said straight off the bat that this film is far better than the Jolie versions. So when we first meet the character of Lara, she is this headstrong bike courier living in London. She trains in MMA, she gets herself into all sorts of scraps, and she also refuses to sign off on her father's inheritance because she refuses to believe that he's dead. He's been missing since he went on a trip to the far reaches of Japan to find an ancient artifact. He's been missing for years after going in search of an ancient artifact and when Laura makes a discovery about her family, she too decides to go in search of the artifact off the coast of Japan. The film is packed with action set pieces designed to look like challenges in a video game, including one very memorable one with an abandoned aircraft and a waterfall. I do feel that there is a lot to like in this film, but it is let down a lot in the plot and the script department. The first hour is great fun, really good adventure, but it all kind of falls apart after that. I also had a problem with the fact that Lara is really the only female character in this film. Everyone else is a male, and her sole objective is to find a man, when really she should be independent enough to not need a man. It's patchy, baggy, and a little bit humorless, but overall it is good popcorn fun and it's entertaining. And Alicia Vikander is a fantastic Lara. I'm gonna give it six black puddings out of 10.